Hello there and welcome students. Um, okay, this is um, a question on statistics. Yeah? Um, in ad math, the statistics, most of the time the questions that are asked um, in paper 2 especially, um, it won't be regarding a, a graph or a curve. Yeah, Most of the time. Most of the time it's a question that is like this, uh, that relates to variance and standard deviation. Okay, um, even in SPM passive questions, it has always been like this. Yeah, sometimes they ask you to count the median. So um, normally there, there is no need for you to draw the graph uh, or jive or histogram. Uh, the reason is because in mod math, you have a lot of those. Yeah, so this is one example of question uh, at, that I've extracted. This is actually question 6 from uh, Jabatan Pelajaran Selangor Mid-Year paper this year and it's available for download uh, over here in my website under the SPM exam papers uh, category so you can um, search for it anyway I would like to um, explain how to answer this question uh, because statistics may not be a big chapter but uh, uh, surprisingly a lot of the question um, students actually find difficulty okay it's a six mark question in section A compulsory um, I've broken them down into two parts this is 6A three marks and uh, on the second page uh, is uh, B which is uh, another three marks okay now Let's have a look how the questions are always asked. A set of data consists of nine numbers. It is given that, okay, the sum of x minus, I hope you know this is min, yeah? Okay, this symbol is min, um, square is equals to 60 and the mean of the number is 10. Okay, so now find the variance of the nine numbers. Right, now um, the uh, formula for variance is all given in the front of the paper. So now when you look at this, the first thing that you must notice is this. This is part of the formula for variance for ungrouped data. Yeah, so um, the formula for variance is actually this. I'm going to write it down, okay? Right, so it is the sum of x minus the min, which is the data, the data minus the min, okay, and square it over the number of data. And that would be equivalent to the variance. Alright, so now, so they say find the variance of the nine numbers. So if you can see, you can actually substitute. It's actually a very easy uh, question because they ask you to find the variance. You already have this. This is given to you. It's uh, 360. So just put it in. 360 and N would be the total number of data, which is 9. Yeah, so that gives you 40. So the variance of these nine numbers is actually 40. So you have no, uh, you do not have uh, to make use of the min right now, right now, yeah? Okay, now here's the challenging one. Find the value of the sum of squares of the data. Squares of the data. So now you don't have the data, you have nine. You know that there are nine data, but you don't know the data uh, individually, okay? So uh, here's where you have to understand. There are actually two formulas to find variance. Actually, they mean the same thing, but it's just calculated in a different way. There is another formula to calculate the variance, uh, which is this. Yeah, so it's the sum of the square of the data over number of data minus uh, the square of the mean. Yeah, so that is, that is uh, another another uh, formula and it is given together uh, in the exam paper actually. So now, why is it that uh, I, I, I'm highlighting this to you is because you need to know uh, where where this comes uh, when with regards to the formula because there are a lot of formula in this chapter, you know. So the sum of squares of the data comes under this particular formula. So since you're looking for this, you may make use of this formula also because you already have the variance. See, you found a variance, it's 40. So you can put in here, uh, let's put it a different color. So you can put in here 40. This is what you're looking for. You do not know the sum of squares of the data, but the data is 9. And here is when you're going to make use of the min. The min of the number is 10, so it's minus 10 squared. So if you solve this, you will get your answer. So um, that's 40 plus 100 times 9 will give you sum of the squares of the data. Okay, and that would be 1, 2, 6, 0. Oh. Okay, so that's how you get your 3 marks for a paper 2 question.
that is like this. So um, you have to be very clear on your understanding of these things. What do they mean? They are part of a formula for variance, the data minus the mean and square of them and the sum of it. Yeah, so uh, variance and standard deviation uh, and mean is a very common question Yeah, in, uh, in paper 2 for statistics. All right, now let's have a look at the uh, next question. This is B. Now B, now this is actually part of the same question yeah, from the main uh, main question here. Set of data consists of nine numbers. All right, so uh, let's have a look at it. When a number K is removed from the set of data, the mean is decreased by 1 and the standard deviation is root of 117 over 2 find the value of k okay now this is the challenging one yeah a lot of students uh, uh, give up on this okay the first thing is this you have to understand it a number k is removed from the set of data that data has got nine numbers so when number is removed that leaves eight and the mean is decreased and the standard deviation would have changed okay so here you would have to form an equation based on the standard deviation the new standard deviation okay so the new standard deviation is uh, 117 over 2 square root that would be equal to now if, if a, a number k is removed from the set of data, then what would the variance be? Remember the formula for variance, let us write it here. The formula for variance uh, would be, oh, this is not variance, we're doing standard deviation. The formula for standard deviation would be this, the sum of the squares of the data over number of data minus square of the mean. So let's put this here. Sum of the square of the data was what you found just now. Sum of the square of the data is 1260. So let's put it in here. That's a uh, 1260 over now now the sum of the square of data now is no longer 1260 because 1260 was for nine numbers now there are eight you've taken out k so you will have to minus it with k square because k has been taken out so now that leaves eight numbers so it's over eight and the sum of the squares of the data minus the square of k would leave the total for the eight numbers minus and now the min is decreased by 1 so the min earlier it was 10 so now it becomes 9 square and you square root this so it is very crucial that you can understand the meaning and form an equation now the moment you can form this equation you are pretty safe you should be able to solve this accurately and get the value k yeah so k is removed so sum of the squares of data minus k square over that leaves eight numbers yeah and minus the min is decreased by one so nine square so let's solve this and uh well you can square both sides uh, to get rid of the square root so that leaves you with one one seven over two equals to one two six zero minus k square over eight minus eighty one okay so now uh shift everything over multiply it with eight so that will leave you with 117 over 2 plus 81 times everything with 8 and you get 1260 minus k square okay so calculator time yeah it's actually very simple right so 1260 minus k square is equals to 1116 okay and k square would equal to 144 and k would equal to 12 okay so this is how you get the value of k and that's three marks all right now the challenging thing is always this forming the equation understanding the situation all right understanding the situation when something is removed or something is added to the set of data yeah i hope this helps you to understand more about statistics It's getting to be a common question nowadays uh, in spm yep okay i'll see you around in other video tutorials